heads come in, we set this gauge up to the size of the valve. Okay. And you can stick it in your valve guide and see how much clearance your valve guide is going to have. And our spec is pretty tight, and if it's out of our spec, even a tenth of a thousandth, we'll knock it out, put new valve guides in it, uh, bore them and ream them in our seat and guide machine, and hone them to size. cylinder heads in the Boston CNC here. We have a program for every LS head and the new uh, Gen 5 heads. It'll take about two hours a head. out of the CNC, we'll put them in the pressure test tank to make sure that uh, none of the runners, intake or exhaust runners, or the chambers get into the water jacket. Um, if they do, uh, when the engine's running, it'll be putting water into the cylinder or into the exhaust, um, and that's the last thing you want to hydrolock a motor because you have water leaking into your runner. So after the heads, uh, the heads come out of the CNC and we pressure test them, put the cylinder head in the surdy and now we're going to cut the seats. cylinder heads come out of uh, the port room and they get blended and uh, rolled. We'll come out here and do all of the valve grinding, setting hydraulic height, tipping the valve, making sure everything is the same. Um, after that, we will measure the combustion chamber volume. So we'll fill these chambers up with alcohol, uh, measure it in cc's, and then from there we can determine how much we need to cut off the head to get the desired uh, volume that we need. Yep, so after we pour the combustion chambers and see what volume they are, uh, we can figure our compression ratio. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, i got the head in here. I'm going to bring my cutter down and touch off the cylinder head as a vertical zero. And from there, I'll be able to mill the head as much as I want and get the desired compression ratio. After the cylinder heads get surfaced, or we deburr all the sharp edges, uh, clean them up in solvent, and then we'll come over here and we will set up all of our springs. Uh, our spring spec is pretty tight as well, so we'll check each one individually and um, check our coil binds and our installed height and check our spring pressure over here and make sure all of our springs are consistent. And then we'll slap them together and they're ready to put on the motor.